Hazamar here. Today, I wanted to take you on a tour of the private consultation set here at Mean Streets. You reach the private consultation set from the Subway TP map right over here. When you arrive, you might be presented with an apparently empty room. The reser control is right here next to the door. Unlike most of the other sets on Mean Streets, this one has an item at its core that's always here. If you switch on View Transparent Objects, Control-Alt-T, you'll see the larger rectangle over there. That is the captive prison bed by Mystic Fantasies, only we've stripped it down to its core components for use in this set. The set currently has eight scenes in it, all of which use the engine for the bed as a central element, but all with different feels. Uh, the bed is compatible with lock guard cuffs. Let's take a look through the scenes so we can get an idea of what we're talking about here. I'm going to turn off transparent and we're going to activate the res controller and we're going to pick the first scene. Med clean. This scene could be a very normal medical clinic. Uh, it has the interactive IV I've talked about in previous tours. And I totally forgot to put a link to it in the show notes on my boiler room walkthrough, but I'll try to make sure to put one here. It's from uh, First Aid, Second Life, and it's called the IV Infusion Universal with Catheter. Uh, we include it in almost every medical-based scene we have here, and some less than medical-based scenes too, probably. Also in this scene are some items from the Mystic Fantasies Horror Rape Morgue boxed set. Uh, some of these items are available separately from Mystic Fantasies, and I'll be including links to as many of these items in the show notes as possible. Um, additionally, furnishings for this scene are from things and such. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like the medical furniture set these cabinets and shelves are from is available on the marketplace any longer, and the in-world store location I have uh, appears to be gone. So in here is where the captive bed is located. Sometimes you just need to keep a patient secure, for their own safety, of course. Also over here is the Mystic Fantasy's Dirty Captive Chair, in case you have a second patient that needs your attention. Med Dirty. Similar, but not entirely the same. This might be the same facility after the apocalypse, or perhaps part of some well-constructed nightmare. Um, here we see that the bed is a little less clean. But still just as secure once you have your patient locked to it. Porno moving. Now, if I'm being honest, this is my favorite scene in this set by far. Uh, you can imagine a dingy warehouse near the docks where your nefarious villain brings their captive to force them to be part of a low-budget porno movie, perhaps with a little bit of snuff at the end. You decide. Dark Woods This scene conjures thoughts of dark rituals performed on the unwilling in a secluded wood. Uh, the core bed engine is part of this stone altar where terrible things have happened. A couple of plant-based items from Pixelancer are here as well, including the Venus prison and some of the vine seat items that have been seen in the atrium walkthrough. Prison cell. 
Perhaps this is a cell in the dark basement of some dictator's palace, or the lair of a sinister villain. This places the bed inside the cell, with an additional spot to entertain visitors, or perhaps simply give your victim a rest from being confined in the cell. Counterfeit. You have the perfect printing plates and are well on your way to making a fortune in counterfeit bills to fund your next evil plan. And then someone shows up to ruin everything. In this scene, the bed engine is part of those pallets of money. So you can chain your intrepid reporter or meddling superhero to a big pile of money while you do terrible things to them. You may not be able to get away with it, but you can certainly enjoy it for a while at least. Dungeon. Inside the castle of the demented sorcerer, or maybe it's just the basement of a would-be demon summoner, you need a place to chain the sacrifice, even if what you're stabbing them with isn't a ritual dagger. In this scene, the bed is part of the altar with romantic torchlight to set the mood. Nearby, we have a cage for the next contestant to wait, or perhaps a place to ready your victim before chaining them to the altar to begin the ritual. Garbage. Sometimes an alley is the best place to take care of business, especially when that business is dirty work. Here, the bed engine is part of that pile of trash. Again, we have a cage nearby in case you need to leave someone secure, but out of the rain. Also note, this crate offers RLV capture capabilities. Perhaps after you've finished, you have instructions to ship your victim to your employer so they can do more terrible things to them at some other undisclosed location. So that's it for the tour of the private consultation set on Mean Streets. Even though this set uses the same bed at its core, the scenes that can be played out here have some variation. If there's anything you saw in this video or one of my other videos that you want to ask me about, drop me a note card. I'll do my best to answer your questions. Until next time, keep role playing.